Now we all know that dropshipping is a whole lot easier when you have access to money, access to top suppliers, and exclusive strategies for success, including UGC content creators for custom ads so you stand out from the competition, a bunch of capital, and all those other resources that set you apart from everyone else. But today I'm not here to talk about that, because no longer do you need any kind of budget to actually get started with dropshipping if you use TikTok. It's never been as easy to start a brand new store, test a new product, and start making some profit in as little as 24 hours if you know exactly what you're doing. Now I'm going to be walking you through the exact process of doing so in this challenge where I test a product on TikTok organic with zero dollars. So the first thing I have to do for this challenge is to actually select our product. We need a product that will pretty much sell itself so we don't actually have to spend any money and so I can try to attempt to showcase the power of organic traffic to you in this video and so I can show you how we can take a brand new product from zero all the way to profitable in just a matter of days, hopefully. Well, what's the best place to look for this? Probably TikTok if we're marketing on TikTok, right? Only makes sense. So after doing some searching, just by scrolling through on TikTok, I basically got a burner account where I've procured the whole feed just to be drop shipping products. So I scrolled through a bunch of them after a few hours. And by coincidence, I actually stumbled upon a product which I've actually tested before in the past some months ago. So as you can see here, I'm just on PP ads just to give you an easier overview of all these ads and this one has 1.3 million impressions it's got some crazy views also 53,000 shares over 3,000 comments you can see there's some hype around this product but this ad was created in March of 2022 so this is kind of a dated product right now and I was trying to test it back in late 2022 early 2023 when it was a new product but now it's a little bit saturated so here's my winning product for this challenge you may have seen it before you may not have seen it before and that's none other than the portable blender now before you start testing this product you're gonna actually see the real results by the end of this video which can make you determine if you want to do that or not but rest assured there's a whole bunch of people running this for over a year or more so it's pretty saturated but I actually bought this months ago and I actually ordered it off Amazon in the typical organic TikTok and method where you buy the product first and then record videos with it and I've seen a bunch of people run this up as a winner since then and there's a few popular one product brands stores which are actually running this product and still profiting today but can we stand out in a very clustered market with a load of people testing this that's what we're here to see in this video now I did run this product a while ago but if I'm honest I didn't really put that much effort into actually running up the account and making completely fresh videos I made a few for like one or two days as an experiment and then I kind of gave up on it now I'll try and show you some pictures on screen right now of the orders we got back then because we can kind of cluster this as part of the same challenge because I did test this and I think I got like two or three sales I'll try and go back and find them just to show you guys if I can but I also didn't really know as much back then so I didn't really know what I was doing organic was a pretty brand new concept and I also did try and run ads for this product but the margins on it are pretty terrible because it costs so much to actually source it's like $30 to source the product and I can sell it for like $45 maybe or $39.99 and make a very very tiny profit on organic but if I wanted to run ads on it even if I ran it at $59.99 I was basically only double the cost of goods so it was really hard to actually make a profit so I just killed it on the ad side but since so many viral videos have been made with this product now I have a whole library of videos that I can remake and try and replicate which makes it a lot easier so now I've pulled up the product on AliExpress as you can see here is actually the price of the product this is just to fool you it's not actually $2.63 don't fall for this it's actually $23 so it's a bit cheaper on AliExpress and as you can see we do have 30 day delivery which is not bad at all for AliExpress dropshipping so I'm almost tempted to actually use AliExpress for this to be honest because it doesn't ship out in long at all now as you can see this has quite a nice box and it's near enough the same blender I don't think it has the printing on where it says fresh juice like mine does it might be a little bit of a cheaper product but we can also sell this variant too also the second version we can actually source this but this one's $75 which is way too much now I usually always use CJ dropshipping to fill all of my orders and send out all my products on my Shopify store on my main brand and I found the product page on CJ2. Now it's a little bit higher 
but I've used CJ so many times that I can trust that the service is really good. In fact, I don't really use AliExpress to drop ship because it's kind of unreliable and has long shipping times. So I'm actually gonna opt in to choose CJ. Now we are gonna spend like an extra $9 on the cost of goods and the total price, but rest assured I know the customers will actually receive it in time. This is the price for comparison, just so you can see how much we can get it shipped for in CJ and how much we can on AliExpress. Now, if you want seven to 10 days shipping, on this product, we're getting eight to 14 days, which is also pretty darn good. If you want this on a whole bunch of products, just click the link in the description down below to sign up for CJ Dropshipping. I genuinely always use it, I would recommend it. And it's connected to both of my stores right now. So let's first plug this product into our winning product criteria and see if it's actually valid to sell and if it's a good product. So does it have a wow factor? Well, not only can you blend juices and smoothies on the go, it also functions as a bottle with an interchangeable blender or lid capsule lid for portability. So I'd say it's a pretty wow factor product. And also you can blend random things. I've seen in these viral videos, people blending Oreo ice creams with random mixtures of vegetables. Pretty crazy stuff. There's a lot of potential for virality with this one. What's the price like? Well, usually I like to go with a typical three to five times markup on a product to make sure we've got that margin there. But for this one, it's kind of expensive, which is why we've opted in for organic marketing. That's what makes it perfect for TikTok organic because without ads, we usually have a higher profit margin with organic content. So we can kind of afford to lose a little bit of profit in there. Is it exclusive? Well, nowadays, less so, but it's still a relatively unseen product, which is fairly untapped. And I guess if we actually did run ads with it and put it in a different market, maybe we could still run it up and make it successful. I'm pretty sure it's something that people still want. And especially right now, since it's January, it's the whole new year, new me movement where everyone's back in the gym, trying to lose weight and they want to eat healthily. And I'm sure a lot of people want to make smoothies and juices and this blender would be perfect to target our market. So since everyone's doing new year's resolutions, let's bank off that while we can, or at least let's try. Does it have broad appeal? Well, as I mentioned, everyone right now wants to eat healthier and go to the gym since it's post Christmas. So I'm sure we could market this very broadly because most people want to exercise and live a healthy lifestyle. And it appeals to more niche demographics too, like gym goers, bodybuilders, people who are vegans or on like only juice kind of diet. People are doing like cleansers. There's a lot of different groups we can market this to. And also people who do sports and want energy. So let's go ahead and build the store for this product. We could do a one product store setup for this, but what I'm going to do is since I've already got a general store built for this that I'm going to put the product on, I'm actually going to build the homepage to recommend the product. And then I'm just going to build a killer product page. So here, as you can see, I have some pretty nice product pictures that they can click on. And when we load the product page, we have the emoji benefits. We have a bundle and save option where they can buy a bundle of the products. We also have a nice bunch of professional grade looking pictures, which looks really cool. If we scroll to the bottom, we have one or two reviews just for a little bit of social proof. I couldn't find that many more to import, but the better thing what we could have done is we could have actually made some fake reviews too, which converts even better. And as you can see, even though I've blurred some of the copy on this website, we do actually have a few nice gifts, which you may be able to see. Oh, and I'll also remember to make a brand new TikTok right now for this store, because even though I've been testing products on it, I haven't even made a TikTok for it yet. So I'll make that real quick and then I'll upload some of the videos to it later when we have some, when they're done. So Christmas time has passed and I've visited my parents and we're in the kitchen and we're gonna start filming these ad creatives. This is entirely organic, so these videos have got a bang to actually get some views. I've got a TikTok open right here and let's just see what we can make. So I'm going to show you some examples of some of the TikToks I did create and some of the TikToks which are downloaded, edited, or just re-uploaded to the page to try and get some extra free traffic. First of all though, I'm going to run you through my best practices on how I create organic videos and how you should create organic videos because this is the same as how you should make general short form content and it's the same as how you should make your vertical videos that you use as your ad creatives if you are running ads. And that works for TikTok organic too. So first we need to actually understand the customer and the 
audience that we're actually targeting so we can target the creator to them. When running ads, we can specifically target our audience, but on TikTok organic, we don't have the liberty to do that. So instead of that, what we want to do is we want to help the algorithm to automatically target our audience and find them. And this is going to be based on our creative that we make. So usually our creative and our hook are important for TikTok as a platform to actually find the people we're actually trying to stand out to. We usually want them to be around seven to 15 seconds because people get really bored quickly and they have that kind of ADHD tier attention span nowadays, AKA TikTok brain. So it's really easy for them to click off. If you can make the end of the TikTok loop back into the introduction, like you say something that connects to the same words in the intro, like you finish your sentence or you leave your sentence unfinished and then the introduction kind of couples together with that, then that can really enhance replayability. For example, if I say a word at the end of the video, but the sentence isn't finished, but then the start of the intro finishes the end sentence, then it makes people want to keep rewatching it. It's hard to explain, but if you get me, that's a real hack. We also want to make sure the vertical videos, because it's a vertical platform, no one's watching landscape on TikTok. And we want to do jump cuts every few seconds, ideally two to three seconds, because TikTok's even quicker than YouTube. And this should just look more authentic and raw than just professional grade looking ads, but both can kind of work. And as I mentioned, also, if we make use of those trending sounds and trending songs on TikTok right now, we can really bank off the people that are just going to watch that type of content in the current moment. Certain songs are trending every few days or every few weeks on TikTok. So using the latest sounds also puts you in those certain pages for those songs. So it can get you a lot of extra exposure as well through that means. So here's a few of the videos we created and a few of the videos we just uploaded. I didn't create them all just so you can see some examples of what we're going to do. So my posting strategy for this is going to try to upload two to three videos a day at least, at least for the few days that I actually run this challenge and then just see how many views we get. I'm also going to try and couple all of these posts with at least three to four different hashtags that are either trending or make sense to what the product actually is. So we can try and target people who may be searching for those hashtags. For an example, hashtag gym or hashtag healthy lifestyle. And I'm going to keep trying to do this at least until we get at least a thousand followers to put the link in our bio on TikTok. We might not achieve that but if we do it also helps convert because most people are lazy and they're not going to manually type in the link they'd rather just click on it so let's take a look at the results so as you can see these are the results from posting the videos you can see i posted like three four five six seven eight nine around ten videos right we we're posting about two or three a day and they didn't really get any traction i think this account was kind of like a shadow banned because we got 50 views in the first then we got zero or one views on loads of them and then we got 30 views and 184 views so pretty underwhelming views right that's because a lot of these videos were taken from other accounts as well on this particular account because I was posting on other accounts. So that performance wasn't very good, but I have an older account here, which I actually did when I did part of this challenge like one or two years ago. And we we're getting much better views because I was making these videos myself. So we we're getting 640, 520, 920, some videos like ones over 1K. And I was doing my own hooks and stuff. And this was before I even knew how to make ads or creatives. So these are severely underwhelming, but you can see I was getting much more views 
use on this original account when I was trying the challenge way back in the day. And also here is the TikTok analytics from the full duration of this challenge from running it for like one or two days. So as you can see, here is some of my order information from some of my orders. So this is going to be the results from when I did this challenge the first time. So that second account I just showed you, which had more views and better results, this is going to be the sales I got from those. So from getting like a couple of few thousand views on those videos, you can see we had one order here for $44. We had a second order for $45, then also a third order for $49, and then also a fifth order for $49. So that gives us $187.69 revenue. I don't know what the profit was, but I think it's like $15 per unit. So that's minus 75. So that left us with $112.69 profit, just basically doing organic, right? So when I first did the challenge, we got $112.69 profit minus the cost of goods. And we didn't use any ads for this. So basically that was over $100 profit. And we only did it for like two or three days, I think, which was just a fun experiment. And that's before I even knew how to make ads. The newest experiment didn't work that well because on that new account, during this challenge, I caught a lot of corners and I also ripped a lot of videos. And also the ones which I made didn't really seem to hit the algorithm. They were like stuck on one views. So there wasn't actually any sales on the second part of this challenge, which I did during the week of this challenge. But on the original one that we did back in like 2022, as you can see, five orders from like just a few videos and we made like over $100. So that's the takeaway. The organic dropshipping is possible, but the lesson is you need to make your own content. Ripping doesn't work because TikTok can detect that you've stolen the videos and you don't get any sales or traction but when i made my own videos you can see we actually made over 100 dollars profit so that's proof that making your own content does actually work and tiktok organic can also work but i am going to go back to just running things with ads because i have a winning product right now so i'm not going to actually sell this blender because i don't think it's very good but i am going to go back to run ads but this was a fun challenge just to see if i could make organic work and i could but it's not worth the time to the effort reward because i can make much more money with other stuff with ads right now so i hope I hope I could give you a realistic overview of what trying TikTok organic actually might be like for your first attempt. I have a lot of experience in Facebook and meta ads and now I'm doing a lot of work on TikTok ads but TikTok organic is a completely new concept for me so I wanted to see what we could do on a complete first attempt. You see a lot of these gurus and coaches and mentorship programs which are always posting about people making 100k in a week but that's not realistic as your first attempt. If you try this there's going to be a whole lot of flops and you need to test a bunch of products and usually it's all about the creative. So I hope I could give you a realistic overview of that before you waste any money or time. But to show you that if you do have persistence and keep doing it, eventually you will hit a winner and it does work. Make sure to click the link down below if you wanna join a completely free dropshipping Discord. I'm posting all free sources in there on Facebook ads, my current results, strategies that I'm using to test and scale right now. And I'm posting winning products in there all the time. Right now it's completely free, so join right now whilst you can to get all the free value before it's gone forever. And if you want any kind of one-on-one -on -one mentorship or coaching to help you actually get success with dropshipping, maybe you don't know how ads work, maybe all your testing campaigns are failing, or you just don't know where to start, message me. My Instagram's in the description down below at the Blue Crusader. You can message me directly there or just leave a YouTube comment and I'll get back to you. And also make sure to click the link down below if you want to sign up for CJ Dropshipping to get about eight to 14 day shipping times and sometimes seven to 10 days on some products and also the option to ship directly from the USA to the USA, which is a pretty big hack if you want to ship things quickly. Comment any questions down below if you need any help with anything or if you didn't understand anything in this video and challenge. And make sure you like the video and subscribe because I'm going to be testing a whole bunch of different side hustles and dropshipping strategies this year, which are going to blow your mind.